Hi guys, Charmian here from Food by Charmian. I hope all is well. I am getting ready to do a Trinidad and Tobago curry crab demo for you all. This is what my crab I already seasoned before I started. It's the hairy crab. I don't like the blue, blue crab because it don't turn that vibrant, nice uh, sort of orangish, reddish color when it's cooked. So this is the crab here. That depends on how much you want. I made a fresh uh, blend of seasoning, of course, specifically for this ginger shadow benny. Or what might be known internationally as cilantro, uh, uh, garlic, pimentos. You can put a whole scotch bonnet pepper in your, you have pepper of your choice, chives or size as it is known here in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, if I didn't say ginger, of course, ginger is in there. I'm using yellow curry today. Usually, I use the e special curry blend here at the supermarket and so forth to buy. I'm just using regular curry. So, I already have a pot with some seasoning. I'm just going to get in my curry powder. Remember it's bright yellow curry today, okay? I like my crab bright yellow. If you have fresh bay leaves, by all means, get your fresh, by all means, get your fresh bay leaves in here. I don't let my curry go for long because I don't want it to change color and get bitter on me. I'm using only coconut milk. Not water, there's a difference. I'm using coconut milk. Right, about that much. The crab won't take in the meat. You need to the, sorry, the crab won't take in the seasonings really. You need to, for this blend of seasoning that I made for this, I put uh, water in it. Usually I don't put water in my seasonings, but I have to. And also put a little crack in the gundi of your crab. Okay, the bigger pieces if you don't know what that is that I'm speaking about. Because they just refer to things as legs internationally. We're speaking crabs in terms of crab, okay? Crab, sorry. And you get it down in there and you let it cook until it's that nice vibrant color and your sauce is tickled. Our crab, it changes color, and that's one of the bonus with this one, you know, when it's cooked. Because not instantly, not as it turns color, you think it cooked. You want to give it some time to just take in all the goodness that you have in it. Use some high quality fish blend, uh, fish blend powder seasoning. I will say Old Bay, and call it brand if you live locally. Comment below, I'll tell you which brand I use locally, because I use Old Bay a lot of times, okay? So guys, you want to keep watching as I bring this lovely, simple Trinidad and Tobago curry crab uh, together for you all, okay? Believe it or not, it's this simple. All you have to do from here is cook and the sauce thicken without added thickening agents and uh, present it. Keep watching, guys. So, guys, the curry crab, Trinidad and Tobago curry crab, it's finished cooking. It's just the most gorgeous curry crab cooked in coconut milk Trinidad and Tobago curry crab I've ever seen. It's brilliant. I have a fresh pepper on it. You can cook it with pepper depending on the, uh, if everyone that you're cooking it for can tolerate heat. I have a beautiful platter, a serving platter with dumplings because I will not be Trinidadian or Trinbagonian if I don't present it with dumplings and my fellow Trinidadian, they will not forgive me. So let me just uh, give you all, let me just uh, move away this and put my beautiful platter, that red thing that you are seeing that looks very much like the crab, uh, like the crab gundi. It's for legs, it is to crack the crab. I have it a number of years. Comment below, I'll tell you where I got it. So here's my beautiful bowl of uh, curry crab, Trinidad and Tobago curry crab, cooked in coconut milk and dumpling. Guys, dumplings, a pleasure. It was my own. If you don't know, food by Shamian, we are all over social media. We are on Instagram, we have a fa public Facebook page, we have a YouTube channel, all, all under one name, food by Shamian. If you want to come into direct contact with me, send me an email on email address, food by by shamion at gmail.com please use all common letters i have a board on pinterest food by shamion is the name of that board i have a website www.foodbyshamion.com guys as always the pleasure is my own until i'm with you all bye and thanks for watching